Salvete Omnes, this is Emilia, also known as the Martian Geek, and welcome back to another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. In the last episode, we moved from the front yard to the backyard, which has more space and 100% more dihydrogen monoxide. So, let us continue through World 3... ...with 3-6, which introduces this. Obviously, we need sunflowers and lily pads. We just got that. Snow peas are good, potato mines are useful. Single use plant, and what else do I want? Uh, I don't know. Actually, I wonder if I should use the squash instead of the bomb. It's cheaper, and I think it recharges quicker. Okay, we'll take the squash instead. Uh, walnuts are good, and... No, wait, I already have a single-use plant. Three-peater? Why not? And a basic pea shooter. I don't know. It doesn't seem like World 3 is... really that great in terms of giving you new plants, or good new plants. Sun production at the beginning here. Zombies are coming. Okay, zombies there. I'm glad I discovered that potato mine trick. It makes it a lot quicker to set up, it seems like, or a lot easier. Either way. It's not really a trick, it's just using the potato mine. But still. for our third zombie here. We'll put the snow peas in the back. And walnuts can go here. Get a chance, I'll put three Peters in column five. Actually, maybe I should put extra. Oh, dear. Maybe I should put an extra column of pea shooters in the top and the bottom since they'll. the three Peters don't work as well there. Oh, well. Wow. Sun. Your ducky tubes have no power here. Well, we haven't seen the new plant for this stage yet. Yeah, if I get, I guess putting a three Peter there it still gives you more uh, damage output than just using a regular um, pea shooter. So maybe I should have gotten some repeaters in here. Ah uh, well. Huge wave number one. And 
And I still don't hear the new plant. They have a... They have a very... Um, can't think of the word I'm looking for. Very no There we go. This is the Zamboni. It drives, well, a Zamboni, and it leaves behind a trail of ice. And on top of the ice can spawn another type of zombie that hopefully we won't have to see this time because I'll be getting rid of the Zambonis before that happens. But the Jalapenos are best for dealing with them because they're like a cherry bomb except it hits an entire row instead of a 3x3 three three area. So we obviously want to take out the Zambonis, or the Zambonis rather, before that can happen. Also, if they do manage to get the layer of ice down, then the jalapeno will melt that, too. I wonder if the three Peter would actually be more useful if it's if it shot peas in just one row. Um now yeah, let's just save our son. And again, I, you know, we don't have pole vaulters in this, or we don't have. I mean, I didn't, I didn't use chompers in this stage. Maybe a second column of walnuts for maximum defense wouldn't be a terrible idea. And second huge wave. I just want to get my other two, three Peters, and an, another walnut up there. Hello, Zomboni. Bye-bye, Zomboni. Yeah, you can only tell when a Zomboni's coming because you can hear the sound of its engine revving up. And we get the spike weed. Pops tires and hurts zombies that step on it. And this thing is also effective against the Zamboni. There's one other type of zombie that drives a vehicle that we won't see for a while. But, and that's... But yeah, we have more zombies. Wait, what are we actually... Okay, snorkel zombies. So we're using that. Lily pad, sunflower, snow pea. The usual stuff. I wonder if I can afford to use the repeater. I mean, why don't we do those two? See, the thing about the spike weed is it's a one-hit kill against any zombie in a vehicle, but even against normal zombies, it's actually pretty useful because you can put it in front of a walnut and it will keep damaging the zombie in front of the walnut as long as it's there. And it has a lot of health, too. I've heard they kind of nerfed the spike weeds a bit in the second game. But fortunately, we're playing the first game, and spike weeds can take quite a bit of punishment before they actually die. I don't... I would assume they're not as tough as a walnut, but... Yeah. And zombies don't eat spike weeds, either. So yeah, these things are nice, and I'm probably going to be using them quite a bit in the future. Even in stages without vehicle zombies. Game's nice enough not to give you pool zombies very early in the stage. With I think one exception if I remember correctly. But I forgot which level that was. Eh, maybe I'm just imagining things. In fact, you know what? Let's 
get started right away with our spike weed traps, shall we? I wonder if that snow pea is enough to get rid of the... Well, no matter. I'll do that. Of course. Oh, and they have... Uh, they recharge fast, too, so... Yeah, spike weeds are nice. I really like them. Now there is one caveat to using them against vehicle zombies, which is that... Oh sure, the one place I didn't... Um... If they do destroy it... Whoops. If they do destroy a vehicle, then the spike weed also gets destroyed. So yeah, you can't just put a spike weed up and expect that it'll shield you forever. Okay, we're done with our snow peas. Also, I don't think spike weeds work in the water. I would assume they don't. Which admittedly makes sense. I mean, this is a longer level, so probably not going to have too much trouble. But we know what to hear do if we hear the sound of a zamboni. Oh, and obviously you can also put down multiple spike weeds in a row, which I will do in these 12 spaces here. Ooh, big coin. That zombie sounded a little delirious. Brave. Oh, hello, snorkel zombie. Since I can't put more spike weeds there, I have more walnuts. Delicious. Lots of omega-3s. You get the spike weed. Yes, I know technically it's pronounced omega-3, but only really dedicated chemists say that anyway. Kind of just one of those... Some, some zombie podiatrists in business. Just about time for the second wave, too. But we are quite well prepared for it, I would say. I think the Zamboni is another one of those zombie types that the game doesn't usually send after you in... Oh wow, we're still not getting any Zombonis this time? Well, so much the better. I don't think the game generally sends Zombonis after you in multiples. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, there's one. And apparently... 
popping the, Zom the Zamboni's tires causes it to explode. How quaint. Well, there's officially nowhere else to put stuff in, on the field except the first two spaces of the pool, so... I think we're gonna be alright. I suppose more walnuts are always good, but... Yeah. Now there's only one place to put stuff. Yeah, you'll get to see the zomb the bobsled zombies eventually because, uh, well, we'll find out when we get there, I suppose. But for now, it's easy enough to take out the zombonies when you have such quick recharging specific hate plants, so... And we're officially out of places to put things. And the pool zombies have a whole lot of nuts to chew through. I will say I guess I'm glad that they don't send you and then more than one Zomboni after you at a time, because if they do happen to get to your plants, they can run over them and instantly kill them. Oh, it actually ate the nut. Just keep shooting, just keep shooting. I guess I should have, what I should have been doing is replacing my pea shooters, you know, my pea shooters with repeaters. I didn't even think of that. Oh well. So we're gonna have 1650 extra sun. And we get a new plant, which I'm pretty sure was introduced in World 2 in the demo version of this game. We have the torchwood. Peas that pass through it turn into fireballs. Now it doesn't actually explain what that does, but. It actually doubles the damage of peas that go through it. And there's our new zombie type, the dolphin rider. So we got, we need that, we need that. That's a new plant. Spike weeds are good. Pea shooters are good, those blah de blah. And we'll take a repeater. We're not taking the snow pea this time because it actually dis-synergizes with the torchwood because if the snow pea goes through the torchwood, it just turns into a normal pea. So we're not going to be able to freeze zombies this time, but we can double our damage output. And it's all peas, so... If you have at least two pea shooting plants that aren't snow peas behind a torchwood, then... You're still making a profit. In terms of... Space versus damage. Yeah, the torchwood is one of those plants that... Is good, but... I guess I don't tend to use it that much anyway, because I prefer the snow pea. Since the snow pea kind of already doubles your damage by giving you... Making the zombies take twice as long to get to your house, and therefore having twice as many opportunities to get, well, peed on. Or mushroom, mushroomed on, or whatever. Dolphin Rider Zombies. We'll get to those. Hopefully the level doesn't introduce them too early on. Hey, we can get an early repeater out. That's good. Now the question is, do I do two rows of peas or do I do three rows of peas?
Oh. Uh. Well, I'm an idiot. I totally missed that zombie. Hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Oh, I'm an idiot. And that is how not to win at Plants vs. Zombies. Wow, that was bad. Fortunately, I have lawnmowers. My, what a waste of sun. <sighs> Terrible. Okay, let's be a little more vigilant so that doesn't happen again, shall we? And let's get some walnuts up here, too. What am I doing with my life? Yeah, let's just do two rows apiece. I feel like the... Oh! I did it again! I did it double again! What the heck am I doing? I am normally so much better than this. I'm not actually sure if the lawnmowers work in the water. I know they don't cover the whole row. Okay, good. I was worried there for a second. Uh, I haven't been recording that. Oh, there we go. There's a little turd. Oh, shoot, and I don't have any... So basically, those guys are the aquatic equivalent of the... freaking... Polvalter zombies. And again, I was underprepared for them. Wow, I can't remember the last time I've done this terribly. Fortunately, you can lure them just like you can the... pole vaulters. Man, that was bad. Why was that so bad? Well, those two rows are now... those three rows are now completely unprotected, so if any zombie gets through, I'm just hosed. Dang torch what's out here. There we go. That should ameliorate things a bit. Now that zombies are taking six P's worth of damage. In fact, I'm going to torch with both of the pool rows before anything else. I just don't trust this situation. Fireballs! Okay, final wave. Even chance to get the chance to get my spike leads out. Yeah, you can see the power of those torchwoods there. Like I said, that's six P's worth of damage. And we get a new plant, obviously. We get the tall nut. It's a heavy-duty wall that can't be vaulted over. 
Costs two and a half times as much as the walnut, but it's a lot tougher, and the dolphins can't jump over it. So now we have some bonies and dolphin riders. Yeah. This could be a problem, wouldn't you say? Oh, I just don't know. I think there actually is a little bit of splash damage with the torchwood, too. Also, the snow pea takes effect from further back. Let's go with that. Basic pea shooter, and how about, uh... Let's go with that, because... That last stage made me panic, and I do not like panicking. Okay, so sunflowers and column six will be our defense. Hopefully they won't give us dolphin zombies until at least the second one. I swear those things are faster than the pole vaulters too. I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe they're the same speed. But it sure seems like they're faster. But I will admit they're not tougher than the Zombonis, which makes me wonder why they didn't introduce the Zombonis in 3.8 instead and the... Uh, dolphin ones in 3-6. Seems like that would have made more sense than the way they did do it. Okay, so we those. We can do that. I put these plants in a weird order this time. Let's actually keep an eye out for things like that. Because sometimes sun production just isn't as important as, well, not dying. I'd rather not have to see the game over screen if I don't have to. Thank you very much. There's a nut for you. Jump over that. have actual pole vaulting zombies too. I actually didn't notice that. I wonder if I need to start putting down spike weeds here. Snoopy's recharge fast. All in all, you're just uh, another tall, nutty wall. I want to say they have about twice as much health as regular walnuts too.
should have used something else instead of the... Um, cherry bomb. Oh well. Can't do much to change it now. Or anything, technically. Zero is indeed not much. And again, miss my cue on the nut. I'm gonna build a wall of nuts and make the undead people pay for it. Creatures? Do zombies count as people? I also wonder if the torchwood would have been a better option. I mean, this way the zombies are only taking three pieces worth of damage, but they're also going slower, so like I said, it's kind of a trade-off. For being completely uh, for being opposite elements, the Oh hello, Cole Halter. For being opposite elements, the snow pea and torchwood feel and fulfill Surprisingly similar roles, or not fulfill, just fill. English. I wonder if we have enough money to buy anything interesting at Dave's shop. I might have to check that. More nuts. More spikes. In fact, come to think of it, I'm not sure if I actually even need to lure the pole vaulters because they can't jump over the tall nuts either. Smack. Haven't seen any zombies yet. Guess the game's feeling more. Well, come to think of it, I haven't seen any dolphins either. I don't think. Hmm. Guess the game felt like being merciful after that last <laughs> pitiful performance. I can't believe how bad that was. Honestly, a little bit surprised I didn't die. Cool Nuts 2. Electric Boogaloo. And even nuttier. We still have a whole other wave of zombies coming. There's been some long levels in this world. Yes, walk across the spikes of doom. Yeah, that cherry bomb is doing absolutely nothing. I should have replaced it with a repeater. Or something. I guess that's what I leave those two pool spots open for. Maybe? I don't know. Yeah, go ahead, bring your dolphins, see how much it helps you. Wait, did they manage to get over it somehow anyway? Uh, is that a mistake? Maybe it's just because the nuts are so close to the front of the arena, I suppose. Yeah, Pole Vaulter didn't even get to the nut that time. And there's the Zomboni. No more Zomboni. Yeah, it's kind of cathartic to see the zombies get owned after, owned after they very nearly wrecked me in the previous level. Oh, whoops. That wasn't ready yet. Well, right, well, right, well, we passed the thousand sun. Still doubt we're gonna get the achievement for getting 8,000, but hey. I wonder if I actually should do a bonus video of getting most of the achievements. I think some of them simply couldn't be done in any reasonable time span, but... Maybe if I ever do, like, a nostalgia project or something, I could come back to some of them. I don't know. Look at my lawn. It's so beautifully symmetrical and so delightfully deadly. 
So now it's actually one thing I'm not sure about with zombies with headgear that protects them. I would assume that still applies to the spike weed because video game logic, but I'm not sure if the spike weed actually essentially penetrates the. You're not supposed to be way up there. If the spike weed actually hits the zombie through the helmet. I don't know. Might have to see if I can look that up or something. Yeah, see, there's an occasion where it would have been really nice to have a more powerful plant. If you can... Oh, they actually ate some of the nuts. Well, I haven't used it all level, so why the heck not? And we get another letter. One missing spot. And screen fade. Hello, we heard you are having a pool party. We think that is fun. We'll be right over. Sincerely, the zombies. So, you can probably see where this is going. We get all the zombie types from World 3, and we have a conveyor belt. And we have this catchy music again. Sure, game, start me off with the torchwood. That's gonna be useful. And a jalapeno. Are we doing this again? And Tangle Kelp when there aren't any zombies in the pool. And another jalapeno. I mean, there's a spike weed. The heck, another torch? What the heck do you want, to, you want me to do, game? Just... Apparently, it wants me to jalapeno everything. Finally! Something useful. That was almost... bad. Oh, I probably didn't plan that out very well, actually. Probably should've... Oh, well, well, the nuts will go here. Give me more three Peters anytime. Anytime now. Nope. I wonder if it's a bad idea that I'm not saving some of these jalapenos for I'm uh, dealing with the zombonies. I mean, I have the spike weeds, those are good enough, right? This is actually probably one... One if... Uh, if... Not my favorite... Conveyor belt stage. Oh, and yes, the jalapenos somehow still work on the water. Don't ask me to explain that one, like I said, video game logic. Hmm. That could be a problem. Game, are you gonna make me jalapeno it again? I think it is. I think it's gonna make me jalapeno it again. Fine, then. Uh, can I have another uh, lily pad? Or two? In fact, don't need more than one column of quartz wood, though. Well, that was annoying. I don't have any flipping lily pads. What the heck am I supposed to do about the pole vaulting zombies? There we go. Oh, 
on what squash some zombonies. Now game, if you don't give me any lily pads, I can't very well put anything here now, can I? Three torchwoods. What exactly is the purpose of that? More torchwoods. Torchwoods for days! Oh, well now you get to see the Zamboni squish it thing. When it's worth noting that, as you probably guessed by now, Torchwoods, or I mean, Zambonis rather, don't appear in the pool. I'm not really sure what to do with those tall ones, see if they're... Yeah, this is where we get all the Zamboni, the Zambonis. Almost to huge wave number three. Not really a lot I can do with those tall nuts. Or that torch wood. Yeah, certainly not symmetric. But there we go. World 3 cleared. Also, you'll notice the only straight out offensive plants we got were three Peters. But we get the Sea Shroom. It's an aquatic plant that shoots short range spores. And, as you might guess, World 4 is the pool or the backyard, rather, at night. You know, they used to call me Fogman, because I would hang out in the fog and jump out at people! Creepy. Ah, those were the days. Yeah, well, we'll take care of 4-1 next time. I think we've done quite enough for one episode. So, I will see you then. When you do World 4.